Hey everyone, this is Sherry here with my mother Linda and uh, she's going to talk to you about a piece that she made uh, when they first built their house. We built our house almost four years ago and I knew that I wanted a nice piece of stained glass and our office is back behind here. Which you can see. So we thought that, or I thought, <clears throat> that a sliding barn door would be great. We have the, the rustic beams, the rustic fireplace, and I started this door with a, a pattern that I had, the hummingbirds and the little flowers, I had a pattern for. I had an idea for the rest of it, and my friend, Beth Irby, Farmington, Arkansas, has a glass shop. It's called uh, the Cutting Edge? Cutting Edge Glass Shop in Farmington, Arkansas. So I went to her and I said, Beth, I want a barn door and I need the rest. I have the top pattern, I need the rest of it and some ideas on the glass. So Beth took it from there and she drew the, the rest of this pattern around our pattern that we already had. This piece here is a iridized, a blue iridized. We come out with a pink ruffled, rough textured. When we go back then to the purple iridized. This is a yellow with blue and we go back then to a rougher texture of purple again. This is our blue chip, which I'm very fond of. I like the blue chip in any of it. So Beth sends me the pattern and uh, I start cutting glass and luckily the house we lived in had, had my glass shop set up and I could go ahead and, and make this while we were building. So I get it, get the glass I take it back to Beth and she encloses it in solid glass. It's a glass, it's wrapped in glass on both sides. I go get it, bring it back. Now we're talking probably a two hour drive. Beth's not right in my back door. So I drive around with this piece of glass in the back of the car and uh, come home and I take it to my cabinet man and I said, uh, could you build me a door frame for this? He said, sure, I can build a door frame for it. So he took the rustic lumber that's all cracked and built me a frame. So meanwhile, I'm talking to my carpenter and I said, um, I got a barn door coming. Uh, could you hang it for me? And he said, uh, Sure, kind of hesitant. So we get the door back from the cabinet man and we start in. I had ordered the hardware off of Amazon and uh, we start in trying to hang the door. And uh, after about a, half a day, he got it hung. And now, we usually keep it over here like this and keep the door open to the office. <clears throat> but it's a beautiful piece and I am so proud of it. Would you say that would probably be the one that you're the most proud of, of all of everything that you've done? Well. Or one of them maybe? I, I did the big parrot back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. that I only have a picture of now. And it was a four foot by five foot knew nothing mm -hmm. of what I was doing. I knew a little bit more about what I was doing with this one. But so, it, it definitely is right up there at the top. Mm -hmm. but, um, now it's a little hard, I'm trying to move around where y'all can see the different colors because we've got sun coming in behind us and so um, you're gonna see that reflection. So I'm, I'm trying to give you uh, different views of that. This is a iridized, this mm -hmm. blue chip is iridized, which you probably figured out by now that I use a lot yep, of iridized. Yep. 
and and <clears throat> the iridized here now when you get up close it does look purple but when you stand back that vivid bright blue is popping out let's go into the office and look at it from the other side and here you'll see another uh, piece up in the window of mama's some irises that she did okay and then turn that light let's turn this see if that helps so it kind of gives it a different and again we're getting the light okay. from this back window and I think oh that may help yeah that helps some but you can still see the bright colors the the bright reds and the purples and the the hummingbirds the blue and then let me focus down here where you can see the bottom part of this. So basically what Beth did was she took a pattern and we can't think right off hand, Mom. I guess you don't know, you don't remember who, where you got the pattern at. We, we'll try to research that and find that. And if we can, we'll put it on the, on the blog post for you. But right now she can't remember. We'll do our best to find that. But Beth finished the rest of this on down and... And around the top. <clears throat> around the edge, around the very top of it. She added all of that. So. And then I'm going to stand back just a little bit so you can see, get the full effect here in the office. Of the door. Okay. And we hope you all enjoyed that story of mom making <laughs> her first barn door. <laughs> In, in stained glass and would you do it again? Do yeah, you think? I'd do, I'd do it again, but this I've told everyone that looks at this house uh, thinking that they might want to buy it that the barn door does not go with it. Mm, you'd take it with you I'll then. I'll take it with mm -hmm. me in my suitcase. Mm -hmm. Well, that would have to be just, a big suitcase. Just in case I can't make another one. Yep. Yeah, sure is pretty. We hope y'all enjoyed that. Thank you.